Hello, this is Nikki Tamayo. We're here uh, for Top Gear Philippines with the new Honda Mobilio. Uh, Honda's latest entry in the entry-level MPV market. So it'll go up against the likes of the Avanza, the Spin, and the Ortiga. We've got seven seats of space here, and in true Honda fashion, the seats flip up. This car is based on the Brio, but it's longer than the Honda City. You can really tell sitting in the back seat, it's very comfortable. Yeah, we're here at Republic Wakeboard Park in Santa Rosa and I have no idea how this relates at all to the Honda Mobilio, but what the heck, we're here. <laughs> we're gonna see who's a worse wakeboarder, me or Eli. <laughs> So the wakeboard battle is over and it's a tie. 1-1. One, one. We are better off as top here. <laughs> <laughs> that means it's time to go do what we do best, which is driving. Under the hood, you have a 1.5 liter engine, the same as in the Honda Jazz, and the same CVT transmission instead of the 1.3 automatic in the Brio. Handling is, as you expect, very decent. There's not too much body roll and the ride is not too bad. Lots of waterproof black plastic and fabrics in here. This road saving model has a touch screen navigation system which is very nice. The fuel economy, I can see this car getting over 20 kilometers a liter on the highway, probably with the aircon on. It feels like it'll do well in this class. I can see this appealing to a lot of entry level buyers who've not had the choice previously from Honda and it brings with it the traditional Honda virtues, clever engineering, good space, good power, decent handling.